Hello, welcome to the library instruction session for Human Communication 100, uh, researching for speeches and papers. Uh, I'm John Hickok, the College of Communications librarian, and I'm going to guide you in, through this handout. This handout is available to you as well. Uh, so for HCOM 100, you must research information uh, for two speeches, an informative speech and a persuasive speech, and one paper that you're going to be doing. So where do you find all the facts and info for these three assignments? Just like random websites from Google searches? Well, uh, not exactly. Uh, the internet, yeah, it can be helpful in providing some sources, but it, it's not enough. You need to use library sources too, because library sources are scholarly and credible. So this handout's gonna show you how to proceed. So the starting place for all these resources is the library's homepage. It's very easy to get to the library's homepage. Just put the word library in front of Fullerton.edu, and that will take you here to the library's homepage. Now, at the library's homepage, there's two places that you will click on the most. The first one is databases. So it's right down here. It's this little icon in the lower left of the library's homepage. That's where you're going to go most of the time. That's where we store all the articles and information for you. The other uh, place you'll go to is OneSearch. And that's right here. It's in the middle of the screen. That's uh, the rest of the time. That's where we have our library catalog telling you all the books and ebooks that we have in the library. By the way, there's something else here that's kind of cool too. The get help button. Uh, if you need immediate librarian help, you can click the librarian, uh, you can click the get help button. It will take you to a chat box where you can instantly chat with a librarian. This is a real live human, not an Autobot. Uh, the Cal State Fullerton librarians monitor this chat box every weekday during the daytimes, and we even have an outside night librarian service that monitor it at nights and weekends. So you can always get help with uh, from a librarian by clicking on this Get Help. Okay, so since databases is where we're going to be going the most, let's talk about some of the databases that will help you for your speeches and for your paper. So I've grouped them into different categories. The first kind of databases that the library has are facts databases. These are really good in helping you prepare. So here's a couple of the facts databases that you'll find in the databases menu here. The first one is called Yale in Context Opposing Viewpoints. Okay, this database is fantastic. It's like a one-stop information hub for speech topics. So once you enter the database, click the Browse Issues. It's a little light bulb icon right here and it will give you a big long list of hot topics in society and then for each topic it gives you all kinds of facts statistics newspapers magazines journal articles on your topic wow one-stop shopping best of all all these sources are credible all the authors are all stated unlike wikipedia so see if i browse the issues and let's say i chose um e-cigarettes and uh, vaping so I can click that and it brings up a whole resource center all with facts and figures about e-cigarettes and vaping. All right, another database we have is called CQ Researcher. CQ Researcher is also terrific. It's like an instant term paper factory. It writes detailed factual reports on hot topics in society. Now, now not every imaginable topic. Neither one of these databases will do every imaginable topic, of course. You know, for example, there's no report on neon toe nail polish is the hot new societal trend. <laughs> no, there's no such topic in either of these databases. But for big major topics, known topics like student debt, video gaming, crime, homelessness, yes, they have lots of reports and lots of information. So you go to a uh, CQ researcher in the search box, you can type in what you're looking for, or you can use their menus. Uh, so if, for example, what about video games and video gaming? And I click that and it brings up a full whole term paper report on video gaming. Okay, so there you go. Those two are really good. Uh, what about encyclopedias? Yeah, we this day these two databases, Gale eBooks and Oxford Reference, these two are our encyclopedia databases. They provide hundreds of academic level encyclopedias for, uh, for us in higher education. These are not, not little simple high school encyclopedias. These two are really excellent alternatives uh, to Wikipedia, 
because they are accepted by their professors. So if you want in, you're researching your speech for any topic, you know, veganism, uh, graffiti, um, you know, uh, Southern California surfing, anything, you can go to our encyclopedia databases and get full, complete write-ups and facts and figures on your topics in our two encyclopedia databases. And then finally, we have a statistics database. This database called Statista gives you statistics like bar charts, pie charts on whatever topic you're researching. Wow, this is really helpful. Suppose you're searching like the number of iPhones made each year. Uh, yep, we have a statistic graph for that. See, here it is. It'll show you and you can dump these into your presentations or your, uh, re your paper uh, with the statistical graphs. So that's pretty cool to prepare as well. Okay, so that's it for facts databases. Now, there's more. The library also has newspaper database. Yeah, US Newsstream is the name of our uh, newspaper database. This is the library's newspaper database. It contains full text newspaper articles from all major newspapers in the US, like New York Times, LA Times, Chicago Tribune, et cetera, et cetera. And all of these are full text going back 30 years of newspaper stories. Wow, this is a great database for you to find news stories backing up your speech, whatever you're ta uh, talking about. So here's the screenshot of what it looks like, US Newsstream. How does it work? Just like Google, it gives you key uh, search boxes and you type in keywords of what you're looking for. But instead of pulling up websites like Google, it will pull up full text newspaper stories. So that's great, there, there you go, that's a way to find uh, backup information for your speech. Uh, in this dotted box, I put some search tips. You can use these tips that will help you narrow down and uh, fine tune your uh, your newspaper searches. So you get uh, just like five or six or seven or eight, nine, ten newspaper stories instead of 400, 500 newspaper stories. So these tips will help you. Now, it's not only newspapers, but we have magazine database too. Yeah, magazines. Uh, we have a magazine database called Reader's Guide. Reader's Guide searches general magazines like Time, People, Rolling Stone, Sports Illustrated, Cosmopolitan. Yeah, so if you want any uh, story from a magazine to back up your speech, then you can search this database. Now, this is what it looks like. The, the screen looks a little different from this one, but that's just because it's a different software. But the, it, it works exactly the same way. It gives you boxes and you type in keywords. Oh, by the way, we have a, another magazine database called Business Source Premier. Business Source Premier just searches business magazines only. It specializes in business, like Wall Street Journal, Forbes, Fortune, Money Magazine. It works exactly the same as uh, the magazine or the newspaper database. You just type in keywords, but it focuses on business. Now, I did want to point out one little caution. These magazine databases do not guarantee full text of your magazine article all the time. Sometimes you might only just get an abstract or summary of your article. Okay, well, that's not good. So how can you get the full text? All right, don't worry. On every database, we've installed a little referral button. It looks like this. It's a little uh, blue and orange um, button called Find It. So just click on it and we'll bring up a pop-up referral box and it will re refer you where you can get the full text. Like it may refer you to another database and just click follow the clicks and then you can get to your full text there. All right, so besides newspapers and magazines, sometimes uh, you may want to uh, include a scholarly journal. And as a matter of fact, for your uh, assignment, yes, you should be including a scholarly journal as one of your sources. So Academic Search Premier is one of our scholarly journal databases. So you can find scholarly articles on your topic in scholarly databases. And the, this one, the really popular is Academic Search Premier because it's a multidisciplinary scholarly database. So it's a little bit of a history journal, a little bit of science, a little bit of health, a little bit of art, a little bit of everything. Okay, so you can go to that one. That's a good one. Now, at the A to Z list of all the databases, um, at our you know database menu on the library's homepage, you can also choose by subject and pick just a major specific database. Okay, like here's an example. 
Let's say you're doing research on prison overcrowding. Okay, go to the library's databases and you can choose your subject, criminal justice. So this is the A to Z list of all the databases. You can go to your subject, choose criminal justice, and it'll give you names of some criminal justice databases. So like criminal justice abstracts is the name of that database that specializes in just in criminal justice. Okay, so, but if you don't care, if you just want multidisciplinary, Academic Search Premier is awesome. All right. So that, that's it. That's all of the different databases, fact databases, newspaper databases, magazine databases, scholarly journal databases. What about books? Yep, OneSearch. Right, so at the library's homepage, the OneSearch box is right here in the middle of the screen. Now, sometimes students think, uh, I don't want a book because it's going to take too long to read. I don't have time for that. Actually, books or ebooks can often save you time. Yes, they might have all the facts or info that you need all packaged together inside one book or ebook. So really don't don't discount books and ebooks. They can actually help speed up your your uh, research. So to search for books, you go to OneSearch. Okay, so here it is, OneSearch. Here's the search box. But you know what? This is just the baby search box. I recommend using the advanced search button. It's way better. So you click the advanced search. It's not complicated. It's actually faster and easier. And it'll bring up this screen. Just select the little circle at the top uh, to Cal State Fullerton, CSUF. And then on the search boxes, you can start typing in keywords of whatever you're looking for. So once you get your results of a list of books, if you see a link to the book, ah, that's awesome. It's an ebook, and you can start reading it immediately. But if you see a floor location and a shelf number, okay, well, that means it's a print book. So no problem. You can come to the library. You can pull the book from the shelf yourself. Our library is self-service uh, on all the book's uh, shelves. And then you can take it down to the first floor on the south side of the library. That's the checkout or circulation desk. And then you can take it home. Your Titan card is your library card. So that's how you get books. Now, what about the internet? Yeah, okay, sure. You can use internet sources too. Yeah, many websites are credible. Like for example, let's say your speech is on um, spending or not spending money for space travel to Mars by the government. Uh, okay, nasa.gov is, yeah, of course, that's a credible website that you could quote. Um, so write down here are some other useful search tools that you uh, for websites and websites for searching the internet. So Google, of course, is what you search the internet, but don't forget Google Advance has an advanced search that's a little bit more powerful. Uh, there's also a directory of websites on the internet. It's called the Curly Directory. This is a subject directory of all kinds of things on the internet. And then there's also some really cool speech uh, topic websites that, uh, that gives you facts and uh, ideas for speeches the Pew Research Center website and the Gallup Poll website. So those are good, those are credible. But here's the caution, caution. When you do just uh, Google search and just get random websites from your Google search, oh man, they can often contain wrong, outdated, outdated non-authoritative or, or even biased information. So we librarians created a five question test that you could ask uh, test that you should ask yourself any time that you encounter some websites that you're not sure about. Okay, and we call <laughs> we funnily we call these questions the crap test. Yeah, well, it's an acronym. It stands for is your website current? Is it relevant? Is it authoritative? Is it accurate? And and what's the purpose? Like, is it biased? So you ask yourself these questions, and if your website is kind of sketchy and and doesn't pass the crap test then you probably shouldn't uh, use it and you shouldn't cite from it. Now, speaking of citing, what about citing your sources? Hey, I got some good news. On all of the databases uh, and also on OneSearch, we've installed a little magic cite button on all of them. So whenever you're looking at some library source, okay, like an article or a fact or a book or an ebook, all you do is just click the little magic button and then it will automatically type your source into APA or MLA format. Wow. So here's what some of these magic buttons look like. Depending on which database or where you are, it might look like this or like this or like this. 
no matter. It doesn't matter what it looks like. Just click it, and then it will automatically cite your your source into citation format. That's very handy. Now, speaking of citation, uh, as you collect all of your sources, you're going to compile them. You're going to get a running list of all your sources. This list is called different names. Some people call it works cited list or reference list or bibliography or just your source sources. Yeah, it means all means the same thing. So to make sure that all your sources are correctly listed in either APA or MLA format, uh, the library, we've created some cheat sheets for you. <laughs> yep, we have the APA cheat sheet and the MLA cheat sheet right here at these links. You can click these and it will bring up all the tips on how to put them in proper APA or MLA format. Okay, so there you go. That's how you can use library resources to prepare for your speeches and your papers. All right, good luck, everyone.